it's going to be uncomfortable and it's going to be difficult. I would say that it, the, the responsibility also doesn't rest on one person, right? So it's not just on the coach to have that conversation. It's not just on the parent to have that conversation, but certainly they can provide, a, a, they can be a team, if you will, and provide a collaborative front with having that conversation with the children. It may even be bringing in others from the community, teachers who are also impacted and also represent another major facet of a child's life to just talk about and offer space um, for the kids to share what they're going on, because a lot of times we, we minimize what kids are going through. I also think it's important to, to understand and normalize adversity and in the way of life is full of adversity and difficult situations. That is a given. And so it's not a matter of how do we avoid adversity and challenges, but rather how do we navigate it? And so I think even from the adult standpoint, kind of expanding that, that idea of adversity and challenges and difficult conversations, if you will, are not to be avoided, but they are to be navigated. And so knowing we might get it wrong, um, we might feel overwhelmed, but if I have a partner in this conversation with me, or if I allow myself the freedom to not have to know everything and know all the answers, that can free me up to just have an open conversation.